everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. I have a beautiful John Renault wig to show you guys, but before I do, let me tell you about the John Renault topper that I'm wearing. It's my tried and true go-to topper. It is the John Renault Top Style Synthetic 18 inch in color 10H16. It's a super easy topper to wear. I usually uh, wear this one back. I twist the front with my own hair in it, and then today I have it braided down the side. So check it out if you're looking for an easy, lightweight topper. The John Renault Top Style Synthetic comes in 12 or, to, or 18 inch. All right, speaking of John Renault, I have the beautiful Sandra wig, which is not a new wig, but she comes in a new color. So John Renault has a collection of blondes called the California Blonde Collection. And it used to come just in a few, um, the colors were only for a few wigs, but now they've extended it. So 15 different wigs you can get in the Malibu, Mal, I cannot say this, Malibu Blonde colors. So Amanda, I just showed you guys that one. She uh, was Palm Springs Blonde. This is Malibu Blonde, which is a little bit darker, more um, warm, kind of honey tone blonde. It has a golden brown base and then it has platinum highlights and um, more of golden highlights running through it. So the Palm Springs Blonde was more of a platinum ashy blonde. This is a little bit warmer, darker, honey blonde color, but there's multiple blonde shades in the California Blonde Collection. This one again is the Malibu Blonde. Okay, so let's talk about the cap on Sandra. She has a double mono top, which is really great. It mimics the scalp um, really well. I love the double monos on the John Renault. It looks very realistic. This one does not have a lace front. The fibers are sewn right onto the edge of the cap, so there's no lace on this one. It is hand tied. It has about a five inch bang, so definitely a shorter kind of bang, not really a layer. Um, shorter in the front here, 13 inch crown, nine inches from the nape and about four ounces. It does have this great poly strip here in the front if you need to use any kind of wig tape or glue to hold it in place. That is one of the features of this and then it goes into that double mono top. All right, I'm gonna go put her on so you can see what she looks like. Be screenshot ready, here are all the details on John Renault's Sandra and the new Malibu Blonde. Okay, here she is. This is Sandra. She is really cute. A lot of these little flippy layers. And of course, she is right out of the box. So if I, or if you didn't want layers that kind of flipped out and, um, you know, this side's flipping under, it's kind of all going in one direction, you could definitely wet this piece and encourage the fibers to go in another direction. If you wanted this to flip out over here, maybe this to curl under. You definitely have that option. This is just straight out of the box. Uh, so something to be aware of, and I mentioned it in the first part of the video, there is no lace front on this piece. So you're gonna want to wear the layers down over your forehead like this to cover anything, because I'll show you. Um, because there's no lace, it's the fibers are sewn directly into the cap here. And it's very obvious that this is a wig. So uh, you definitely want to wear the piece down like this to disguise it. You can even still see a little bit here, but you could probably use some concealer and dab it on there to disguise that. Um, but the mono top on this is wonderful. That definitely looks like scalp. A little trick I've done with my pieces um, with mono tops is if you set your part line, definitely get it where you want it and then you can take some tweezers and pluck some fibers out and it opens up the part line just a little bit to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, so you can see that part line coming through and I, don't know, I think it just looks more uh, realistic if the part line's just a little bit wider. So just a little trick that you can do to make this look more natural. All right, so let's talk about this blonde color. This is Malibu Blonde. Again, it is from John Renault's California Blondes Collection which they've had for a while, but it came in just a few different styles and now they've extended it to 15 different styles. So if you love the color, but this style isn't really for you, there's lots of options um, that you can find this Malibu Blonde color in. Okay, so for Sandra, she has this one uh, kind of medium length layer here and then she's got these longer pieces um, down below that are darker. As you can see, the highlighting in the blonde is on the top here and then this darker piece 
you can see the difference um, in the two blonde shades. So I don't know if I love that. This feels a little mullet-like to me. Like I just, it's kind of my pet peeve when wigs are dense and thicker on the top and then the layers make it look scraggly at the bottom. It just doesn't look proportional as you can see thicker here and longer here. So I don't know if I love this style um, of Sandra and you'll see in the back how it looks um, when I do the 360. I mean it would be cute if it was this layer here but this kind of just throws it off for me a little bit. And then the bang is shorter so you definitely want to make sure um, you're okay with a bang here in the face and then it would swoop to the side. It's not short enough to wear it straight down. Um, so you definitely want it swooped to the side. And again, you could take some water and kind of encourage it um, to go in the direction that you want. Just make sure you're wearing it down like that. All right, so this Malibu Blonde color is absolutely beautiful. This is definitely a warmer, more honey blonde. Um, I just reviewed Amanda in Palm Springs Blonde, which was cooler tone and a little ashier, uh, but this does have a beautiful medium brown root, and then it has these honey blonde pieces going through it. It's even a little more honey blonde in person. I think the light is making look, um, make these platinum pieces stand out even more, but it definitely has more of a golden blonde look to it as opposed to the Palm Springs Blonde, which is definitely more of a lighter platinum blonde. Um, so this is a beautiful kind of warm tone you can see the darker blonde pieces running through it so they did a great job with the color i love the malibu blonde piece okay let me give you a 360 for sandra we have the front the right the back you can see the layers down there the left and then on around um, some styling options for this you could definitely clip it back right here and let this piece come forward. That almost makes it look better because it kind of takes away this bulk right here. Um, looks a little bit more natural if you do it that way. So that's an option for styling and you definitely could get an ear tuck with that. Um, but again, not my favorite style, but definitely love the color. All right, if you need Sandra in your life, head on over to Wigs by Patty'sPearls.com. The manufacturer's John Renault. Sandra's style, and this is the Malibu Blonde from the California Blondes Collection. All right, I will see you guys next time.